Okay, I've got a friend who's giving me a card. It's a very old card, um, and uh, what he's doing is he's uh, overheating uh, the PC overall. The card's getting excessively hot, and uh, also sometime it'll just switch off. Well, I think and I've got a pretty uh, much of a good idea as to why he's doing what he's doing actually. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip it down, service the card, put it back together, and then uh, hope for the best basically. Just show you under. Okay, so as you can see, the fins are absolutely full of dust. And this is the reverse side of the card. So I think it's more dust related rather than the card or the GPU itself failing. So uh, let's uh, get on with stripping down the uh, card then. Let me find something where I can put my bits. I've got a tray here somewhere. I've got a tray where I can leave my stuff. Okay. Oops. Right, here we go. So I'm sort of uh, stripping down the, well, removing all the screws from the back of the card. Right, I'm going to undo these four screws with hand because I'd like to go from corner to corner, sort of a, just avoid any sort of a unnecessary stress on the, because uh, this is the attention plate, this is where the uh, heat, heat spread is sort of kept in contact, so I'd like to go flat, sort of corner to corner sort of a thing. side now then there's a fan connector here just get rid of this fan connector I wish I could have I wish I did that before Jesus Christ there we go So that's the state of the card at the moment, unfortunately, so uh, I bet the fans are absolutely filled with junk. He's got some bird, or he had some bird, and I believe it's something to do with that, um, all this dust and everything. So I'll be replacing all these uh, thermal paste, and I'm going to leave them intact, not, not bothered about sort of uh, getting, getting rid of those. Okay, so I need to get the fan out. Now there's screws here. There, there. This, 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 and so on and so forth. So let's get a cracking on with it. Right, so since this is slipping, this must be quite tight. I do not want to sort of carry on using the electric screwdriver. Yes, it was tight. Otherwise, it'll do the. Uh, it'll round off. Round. Oh. All oh, right. It seems there's something inside this uh, stupid screw itself. You don't want to round the th head head of the screw. Otherwise, you're going to be in a bit of a mess. The rest seems to be okay. Just that particular one was a bit of a mission. 
Okay, and that now, the card should pop out. There is a screw hiding underneath the thermal paste pad. There we go. And that's the last of the screws. And this is the situation of the card itself. Oh dear. Right, what I'm going to do is I, I absolutely hate all this dust. I'm going to put my hoover on um, and uh, suck, get rid of all these dust. Seems like a very fine dust. And I think it's, it's the build-up from the uh, old, the older build-up from the bird. Blast the inner part of the pins with it with a compressor shortly. Absolutely filled with crap on these things. more to than that. I'm going to clean out every single pin. I'm just do an overall clean. And then going back into the PCB now.
Jesus Christ, man. Stop. Turn the uh, extractor fan on. Mm -hmm. Looking for a brush. IPA just to try and clear off this because you can't get rid of it with the uh, extractor, uh, sorry, the brush uh, and the hoover. So, I mean, that's how horrific this is. That's what we call so all this stuff here. That's just stuck basically. Okay, I'm happy with that. One of the fundamental failure of GPU is, is, is overheating, um, and I hope the GPU hasn't failed. Okay, just just a general. Don't want to put too much IPA, so I think that's good enough. That so let's move on to. To sort of refresh in the uh, thermal paste. Okay. 
All I've used is just, just as you can see, it's just cotton bud and 100% uh, IPA. Um, I used to sort of uh, use MEK. My God, that stinks. But I have, I still sort of keep it something that's so strong uh, and anything any sorry anything that's too strong and it won't remove easily I'd, I'd, I'd jump onto MEK and that'll just get rid of it but just be careful with the MEK any any plastic surface it will just it'll just melt through it So far, so good. Let's get rid of clean the edges. Right, okay. That's enough for the card. Now let's get a new one. The thing to remember is, 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 especially video card, um, and and you're a gamer, uh, you want you want them to be sort of serviced uh, regularly. Take them out, strip them out, get rid of the uh, dust, and and uh, maybe just refresh the thermal paste with with something uh, as as good as the Arctic MX4, or or whatever the newer sort of uh, or the best ones available on the market. Now, as I said many 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 times after. Well, not as many as, but uh, is is there some shitty thermal paste which is on eBay, um, and they're selling these thermal paste just to make you guys aware. Please, in the name of God, do not use them. On my last video of of, of showing you this, please don't use this. Let's see if I can get the uh, focus on. This do not use them. Absolutely gibberish. You might as well just go and poop and put some shit on top of the uh, GPU, and maybe that'll come. That'll dispense heat from the surface of the uh, graphic controller. But this piece of shit. Is, is worse than anything now the reason why I kept the tube is just so that if I can I can sort of show people exactly what to use and not what not to use I mean I'd, I'd, I'd be putting this on actually let me just sort of uh, switch back into the next thing I'd be, I'd be using this actually this is what I'd like to use um, Okay, so what I need to do now is get my compressor on and uh, blow a bit of air through the things. So I'll have to hang fire while the compressor sort of builds up pressure. In the meantime, what I'll do is I'm going to give it a good sort of a clean in between the fins. What I'm doing is just poking in and just cleaning the fin to the best of my ability. Okay, so it's not bad. How far did I get up to then? The compressor's built up pressure now. So let me just finish this. Let's move on to another one. See with me, I'd, I'd do something properly, otherwise I wouldn't even bother with it. 
Is it necessary to clean these fins? Mm, maybe not. But get it done. I mean, I have a gaming rig. Um, I'm, I'm running a um, ATI 295X2 video card, which is a water cool video card. Um, yes, it may be a little bit sort of uh, maybe a year or two old, um, but it's still ATI has. I, I don't think ATI has brought out the new range of uh, G, um, two two GPU and a single PCB versions of the card yet. In all honesty, I didn't pay silly price for the card. It was, it was sort of uh, half of what it was initially. I think it was about eleven between thousand to eleven hundred pounds for the video card. Um, I fetched. I bought it from a, a supplier in in the UK, Overclockers.co.uk. Um, Sometimes you can pick up some decent bargains from these guys. Particularly the, the, the thing to watch out for, and I know for the extreme gamers, um, buying card regardless of price is, is not a big issue. But what I tend to do is I tend to just wait until the sort of uh, card has been out for a good couple, well, six months or so, and then sort of buy the card at a lot, lot less cheaper price. Now, those who are in extreme gaming, they can't wait six months, they'll literally, literally be ordering it either day of release or within within the first week of release and effectively you're paying stupid price for the video cards I think I'm, I'm quite satisfied with that so so that can go okay now Unfortunately, I don't have uh, in stock uh, thick thermal pads, and as a result of that, I can't. So I'm going to have to reuse the, the these two. Ideally, I would recommend sort of changing them, but unfortunately. I haven't got them in stock at the moment, so we're just going to have to sort of utilise what we have here around here. Oh yes, definitely that's coming off for definite. Let me take that off. A strong uh, bonding, leaving a lot of uh, residue. 
In all honesty, the card is so old that I wouldn't even worth. It's not even worth touching, to be quite honest with you. But it's a friend of mine, so uh, sort it out for him. Okay, let's get rid of all this shitty cotton buds and everything, all this crap off my desk. Right, what am I going to do next now? Um, 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 um. Compressor, yes, absolutely. Let's get this on. Get my compressor nozzle on. Probably thinking, what am I doing? Let's take that here, I'm not breathing all that crap. Fins are clipped, so you can as, as, as you just sort of. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm sort of put it, looking through these gaps and see if I can see the light, clear light through the opposite side, which I did. So that means I don't need the compressor now. I can go off. So now I've got to apply thermal pads on here. Should I Let's see if I've got anything? <coughs> I'll probably end up using a strip of this actually. So, okay, so I'll one line cut. End, one end. I think it's just too long. Just make sure that it's, it's covering the. Uh, yes, it is. That's good. Make sure you, you sort of peel the uh, second layer of the uh, protective from the thermal pad. And thank you very much for misaligning the uh, I'd like to position it around the center if possible. As soon as you take the other layer off, it's literally sort of all wonky. <coughs> I 
Right, the next thing I'll be doing is applying thermal paste. Gosh, this every time this this tip gets stupidly hard to take off. I'm just dabbing the thermal paste onto the uh, GPU. Just a very light press on the tip, on the tube itself. Uh, just dabbing it on, basically. I just want uh, I just want the surface to be covered fully. Some some YouTubers I've seen what they say is is just put a blob size of a rice grain and put the heat spreader on. Okay, I think that's just pure bull crap because uh, even if you put the heat spreader on, I've I've, I've tested this. I've put a, a size of a rice grain, put the heat spreader on. The whole thing wasn't covered. It's it's leaving spots and spot you know on the edges. It's it's it's, uh, it's only covering the center part of the GPU, but it's not spreading out sort of properly as 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 I've done here. So that do not do that. Just spread the thermal paste around the so the, the the complete surface of the GPU fully. Right. What I'm going to do now is I need to put the uh, fan back on. So let's do that. Providing I know. I've done with the uh, screws. In fact, I'm going to give a bit of a blast at the bottom here uh, with the compressor because uh, um, there's a lot of dust coming out from it. Yep. the PCB okay what I'm gonna do is I'll put a few of those screws back on <sighs> cracking little screwdriver it does the job to a certain degree Put the case back on. And then the rest of the screw can go in. One of the screw surface was a bit dodgy, so I've got to watch out for that. This is the one that was dodgy. And this was the hidden uh, screw which I, I sort of uh, removed. Okay. Now just out of curiosity, I'll just sort of see if they are tight enough. Yep, yep. Don't bother with this, that's fine. Okay. Just having a quick look around the uh, PCB, if there's anything else that needs doing.
before I decide to put the thing back together. Usually with the GPU failure, um, you'd, you'd, you'd get the part number off the surface of the GPU. Um, if the card is worth repairing, then order a chip from the uh, supplier in, in China. Um, nobody would sell this GPU in in UK. There is a chip, Bay, I think it's called on eBay, who sells a chip on, on uh, eBay in UK. Um, I've had I've had few things, but uh, vast majority of this stuff I order from China. There is a uh, supplier I think it's called. Um, what is it now? Um, chip. I can't remember, but I'll leave the link uh, this link on the uh, below on, on the description below. Um, gold, sorry, it's golden chipset. Uh, yes, it's golden chipset on eBay. I've used them several times. Um, never had a problem with the chip. Uh, the thing to do is never buy a huge bulk of chip. Just order maybe up to about five or six, uh, or even ten. But nothing more than that because you never know wh where the chips, wh whether if the chips are all working or not. I've been done before in the past where I've bought Xbox chip uh, from China, not through, not from Golden Chipset. Um, th there's two that I've used. CIC, I think it is called. One of them is called CIC. And the second one called Golden Chipset. Now, the the difference between the two, uh, Golden Chipset, I usually living in the UK, uh, the shipment arrives within within ten days from China, whereas the Golden Chip, uh, the CIC takes can take a bit longer. So uh, that's that's the main reason why I started using Golden Chipset. But going back onto the uh, Xbox thing, I, I bought a bulk of Xbox chips in the past, and I've been done before. Uh, there is a separate video on, on testing how to test uh, how to do an ohm test on, on the chip to see if the chip is shorted to ground um, or as it's shorted um, or faulty um, on, on, on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, anyway, going back onto this now, let's just get a cracking on with this, it's taking too long. What I would do is I'd probably turn it upside down. Okay, and also I might just put a little blob on this. Just a very, very tiny. <coughs> Effectively, the reason why I did that is because when you attach this to this, it'll all, I mean, it may just squeeze a, most of it out once I've start tightening the tension plate at the back, but I, I just want to be on the safe side and make sure that it's covering the entire surface. Line up. Okay. So that's in, that's in. Not going to tighten all the screws, but I'd like to sort of make sure that the uh, piece, the actual PCB and the uh, casing, including the uh, heat spread, does it doesn't move while I'm sort of putting the uh, tension plate. So I'll just put a few screws just to hold it in place for me. Um, okay, now here's the tension plate. I'm going to hand tight this. It's recommended just to go corner to corner sort of thing, rather than just putting one, one screw completely tight and then sort of doing the others. Just, just so that you don't damage the, uh, the oops, phone call. Oh, 
off so they can wait. This person just rang me. I bet they'll ring me back with within a few minutes. They have no patience. They have absolute no patience, this, this particular one. Absolute no patience. Right, okay, I think that's done. Hopefully. Suppose I can test the card. Should be able to test the card. To see if it's even posting, but I've got to get a motherboard out. Get a In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do for you guys. If you have the patience to wait, I will test the card now. Right, okay, the screwdriver. I think it's a quite a nice little screwdriver. Um, and it comes with a little supply like this. Let me just get a thing. You stupid USB. Just bear with me, guys. There you go. And that's what it comes at. Yeah, you can laugh out loud. This, this, this thing is okay. Uh, the hot air station. But I'm, I'm just on a change of a subject. Uh, I use just to use for gen, just very basic use like uh, heat shrinks and things like that. Uh, but to move anything as like an IC or so and so forth, that this is recommended. But anyway, sorry, I'm jumping into another subject. This is the control controller. What I've, I've, I've bought it for. You can change the speed on it. Um, there's three speeds, and uh, basically that's reverse and that's forward. Um, it's not powerful. It's not a professional tool. It's more of a hobbyist tool, so don't get carried away with having one and thinking you'll undo all the screws. There will be time where you will need to sort of use your hand and uh, screwdriver to remove some of the screws, like the one I had before. It was a bit of a trouble. Now, what I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm going to grab a board and uh, a power supply and see if the card would post. Okay, so bear with me. set up a bit okay cheap power supply it might do it for me just to sort of see if the board would post a cheap cheap power supply this is a 500 watts Adapter, which I have one here. It's a DVI, it's a VGA. 
and that can go at the back of the card. Lift it up and uh, careful lead for the power supply. Thing that the cards powered on okay let's see what we have on display okie doke yep yep I know what I've done wrong this is what I have this is the message I have on the screen is to sort of connect power which I didn't do stupid idiot now this power supply won't do it because it's got a single pin which means that I've got to dig out my expensive power supply. Yeah, what a moron that was. Didn't even think that you've got two six pin connectors here, that means power source. What a moron. Which means that I have to go through my pile Right, it's going to be this actually, so I thought I was going to finish it up. What a humongous thing, an absolute fucking humongous. Yay! It's flipping heavy compared to what I've had before. Okay, let's, let's see where we're at with this now. Now the video card cables come on. You know the thing about uh, modular power supplies is brilliant because look at this, look at this, just look at that, look at this fucking shit. Sorry, look at all that. This is non-modular. It's only for bench testing. That's why I bought it. It was fairly cheap to. Uh, it was, but I mean, the beauty of modular is that you don't need unnecessary cabling, sort of a thing. I've got a I've got a build over there on the opposite side of the room, which has a modular power supply. Uh, I think I'm using the uh, Corsair RM1000. I can go in here. Here. Okay, so being as stupid as I was, I turned the car, uh, the setup on, without the uh, correct power supply. Okay, so let's see what we have now. Okay, so the setup is on. Do I get a display? Yes, I do get a display. There it is. It won't find an operating system because there's no hard drive connected to it. Yes, SK boot failure, blah, 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 whatever it is. Disk, no, it's disk boot failure. It's hard drive, right? Okay, so it's posted. Um, ba, 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 ba. Let's have a look. I would love to run Fermac on it. So let's, since the video has gone that far long, let me run Fermac on it. Power off. SATA connector and let's find a power. Okay, let's power it. What I might do is I need to shut out 
this up. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jesus Christ, man, I've got so much stuff on this bench now at the moment. Right, I'm going to try and add a scene, yeah. which is the monitor. Right, I'm going to add it to the wall. Okay, I'm going to queue. And then monitor capture. Okay. That's the wrong one. Wait for the other one. No, no, you piece of shit. Can't do that. Can't do that. No chance. Stupidly thinking. I, I thought that this was sort of... The, 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 this monitor's hooked up to my main machine, but it's not, is it? It's hooked into this. Sounds good. Show you what's going on here. It's sort of trying to run Windows... Well, it's going through the initial setup stage of win Windows 8. So I'm going to leave that here. Might take a few minutes. Just on fire. I mean, the worst case scenario, what I would have done is if, if there was no display, but power on and no display, what I would have done is, is, is literally reflow the GPU. Um, but I think it might be lucky. Come on. This is the thing about mechanical drive. Mechanical drive uh, are obsolete now. Absolute obsolete. Uh, the, the piece of shit, um, although that I am using one for testing purposes, uh, the way, way forward now is solid state disk drive. The ones I recommend is Samsung, um, and uh, I hope other brand fans don't hate me for saying this. Samsung Evo is okay. I use Samsung Pro. Um, yes, they are a little bit more expensive versus other drive, but it's backed with 10-year manufacturer warranty with the Pro Series. Um, I want something with, with you know, uh, reliable, and for that reason, I use uh, the Samsung Pro, Pro Series. Now, even when it comes to installing uh, SSD drives and customers' uh, PC and laptops, I still go with the Samsung. Uh, the, the support is brilliant. Um, and uh, basically you can sort of monitor the, the Samsung Magician I think it's called the utility on the uh, actual uh, um, on, on, that, that it can install on the Windows um, and uh, that will monitor the uh, status of your hard drive um, to an extent where if the drive is authentic or not and uh, where, whether if it, if it is uh, um, sort of, I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll show you what I mean. I'm, I'm using the RAID 0 configuration, but let me add a monitor capture and see if I can monitor capture. Let me see. Okay. Yep, the resolution's been set right, so please forgive me for that. Get rid of that. Oh. Should have done that before. Okay, get this down. Oh, have I installed? No, I haven't installed it. No, 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 I'm not. Although that I'm running to the SSD drive in RAID 0. Now, the problem with the... I, I know why I didn't do that, actually. is is because uh, the uh, Samsung uh, utility doesn't sort of uh, detect the RAID... Although it detects it, you can't monitor the drive status when it's in a RAID 0 configuration. Unfortunately, so I believe that's the reason why I didn't install it initially. Come on. Come on. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. 
for taking your time. Okay, so I'm going to run for a mag. All right. Let's go up here. See, still running, sort of uh, loading windows. So let's try and run for a Mac. There we go. Okay, and it's 1920 by 1080. I'm not going to sort of put full screen, but what I would like to do is also I'm going to run GPU Z and see what sort of temperature is reaching. It was hitting 80 degrees Celsius plus before when I sort of got the card out. What, what was that error? I don't know what that error was. So what, what, right, there must be another utility. Let me get this out. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That will do. I think is it, is it monitoring my graphic card? Yes, it is. It's running at seventy-five degree Celsius. So you, this piece of shit has crashed. Okay, here we go. Now the card is getting absolutely battered. I need a keyboard to sort of look at the temperature rise and. Uh, when the fan come on so oh for god's sake no 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 fuck off fuck off let's see if i can move that around ah there it is okay the reason why i didn't do a full screen otherwise i can't see this but it's reached 85 degrees celsius Hence, the customer will, I uh, would recommend the customer to sort of increase the fan temperature. I'm going to sort of move that off screen a little bit. Let me see if I can use, open up the driver for the ATI and if it would let me. Alter the uh, nope. So the card's drive is not installed. The correct drive is not installed. So that's not going to happen. I was going to increase the fan speed on it, basically. But it's idling at eighty-five degrees Celsius now. Usually, when I run my graphic cards, I tend to sort of. Uh, um, just, just literally bump up the fan speed about fifty percent, sixty, fifty percent, something like that. Yes, it's 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 audio. You can hear it, but who gives a shit? As long as I don't sort of uh, destroy my uh, five, six hundred pound, thousand pound card, who cares about noise? So, um, unfortunately, guys, can you see the temperature? Here, should have okay, that's all. So, I'm going to leave that running for a bit. Here we go, that's the card hooked up to the monitor. Um, it is running quite hot, undoubtedly, absolutely hot. So, uh, that's all.